next amendment from Councillor Cordova. Thanks, Mayor. This one is to insert, also under opportunities, council plans to set waste reduction and minimisation targets informed by a review of the waste management strategy in order to save money, reduce council's carbon emissions and promote, council, uh, promote climate action. Can I go back? Did you? Can I just ask? On a I did you a vote on that last yeah, one? Yeah, I did. I'm sorry, I didn't. Yep. Yeah, uh, but Councillor Cordova has just moved an amendment. I need a seconder for the amendment. Councillor Midgley. Um, Councillor Cordova is going to speak to his amendment. Thanks. Uh, in the climate um, report that we got from an independent um, climate accountant. There was up to $26 million in savings that were available to be made. 92% of Kingborough's carbon emissions are coming from waste, 92%. So probably the single biggest way we could save money, reduce carbon, council's carbon emissions and promote climate action, the single biggest way is to have a sensible approach to waste minimisation. And the way to do that is through waste minimisation targets and checking up what we're doing currently against our waste management strategy. Like, have we implemented since December 2017, when we had the waste management strategy delivered to us, ha have we done any of that? Have we done half of it? Have we done, you know, we don't know yet. And so a huge, enormous way over the next 10 years, looking forward to 2030, 31, um, that financial year, the, probably the single biggest way we could save money is to figure out what we're doing with waste. So it's an opportunity. It should go in the plan. Thanks. Councillor Westwood. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I don't support this amendment on principle, which is why I didn't support the previous amendment, we had a workshop on the long-term financial plan and that is councillors' opportunity to provide staff with suggestions like this. It is not fair of you to bring these amendments to the table tonight in a public council meeting and put us on the spot and try and get us to make decisions about what we do and don't include in a long-term financial plan when we can't have a full opportunity to explain to people who are watching from home why we have and haven't may voted a certain way. I don't like... Um, so I object to this on a matter of principle and I think... I can't call you on a point of order because I've had a look and I can't find one that fits. So apparently you can actually do what you're doing but I don't like the precedent and I would really appreciate if you didn't do it in future. I, I've sort of sort of like the, I'm really glad that we've got waste management in as an opportunity because it wasn't previously listed as a waste management, as, as an opportunity in previous um, long-term financial plans. So I think that's important. But it is only a brief outline. Having said that, I've, words, I mean, I guess I'd be happier with it if it talked about the, the long-term financial aspects rather than um, the carbon emissions and climate action because even though I know Councillor Cordova from <laughs> vastly different views on this, I'm not sure it's, it's um, it would probably those issues belong here. So I'm a bit on the fence on it. Um, uh, but I, I guess to, to go to Councillor Westwood's point, um, I do get the frustration of having things thrown at you at a meeting, but I also think it's probably unreasonable that Councillor Cordova could have raised these in the workshop um, because it was really we're talking about the options that we spent the hour and a half talking about the amount, where, how, how soon we wanted to get to a surplus, um, what the rate rise would look like. And I don't think we actually um, put up what the potential um, opportunities and risks might be um, added or deleted. Um, so I, but I, can, I sort of see both sides on that as well. Councillor Court, over sum up. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, and again, you put it quite rightly that um, Essentially here, we're not changing the plan, we're just adding to the list of options and there was no other opportunity at which to, to add to the list of opportunities. But importantly, all of the councillors around this table have been to the climate workshop, the budget workshop, the community halls workshop. We've met with the CFO and the GM. I've talked to the mayor, I've talked to the deputy mayor. And really, I can't be held personally accountable for other councillors not doing their homework when it comes to this. We are looking here at waste management. It's an important thing. It's a huge opportunity and it could actually serve great dividends to the community over the next 10 years. We don't have to fix everything all in one go, but what we can do, it says right here in the executive summary that it's our strategic plan, key priority to sustain the natural environment whilst facilitating development for our future. That's why we have a long-term financial plan is to speak to those key priorities. And so adding to this list of opportunities by mentioning waste, 
I think is, is really pertinent, it's relevant. I think it'll serve the community well, and that's why I put it up. Okay, the amendment moved by Councillor Cordover and seconded by Councillor Midgley um, talks about council adding underneath the waste management um, part of the plan, council plans to set waste reduction and minimisation targets, yeah, etc. and they're on the screen. All those in favour of that amendment, please say aye. aye. Those against? Aye. Have a vision. All those in favour, please raise your hand. Councillor Grace, Cordover and Midgley, and those against, Councillor Street, Bastone, Reed, Westwood, Fox, Wass and Winter. The amendment is lost. Councillor Cordova, I don't think you've actually made your substantial contribution yet. I'm just, I've got one more amendment under user charges and statutory fees. Okay. 